In this video, I'm going to talk about Aider, which is a command line chat tool that allows you to write and edit code with OpenAI's GPT models. I would call this a competitor of GPT Engineer, along with some additional features such as the ability to modify code in an existing Git repo. Now to try this out, you're going to need a few things set up already. The first thing you need is to have the latest version of Python, which I have already installed in my computer. You also need pip, which allows you to download and install Python packages such as OpenAI or Aider. Additionally, you also need to have a paid account set up with OpenAI so you can use the GPT 3.5 or 4 API key. Now, if you don't have that set up, I have this video in this playlist called Sparks of AGI, and the video is called How to Set OpenAI Usage Limits. This is where I show you how to create a paid account. Now, this is not a subscription-based account. This is more of a usage-based account. So you're gonna maybe spend a few cents to try this out. Now, if this is your first time to my channel, I wanna welcome you and recommend you to join my AI newsletter. I'm still working on my website and a strategy on what will be most valuable to you to send in this new newsletter. That's because I'm trying to make my newsletter more execution focused versus just new AI tools or new AI news. All right, let's get started. Now I'm going to use Visual Studio Code today. And if you don't have that installed, I'll have a link in the description. This is really good because you can both see the code that's being generated and also have a terminal in the same place. So you don't have to switch around windows going from terminal to your code base. I already have a folder called Aider created inside testing GPT. This was created during my video of GPT engineer where I created this entire code base from one prompt. So make sure to watch that video if you haven't seen that already so you can compare it with Aider to see how they're different. After that, I'm gonna go inside the Aider folder now, the first step I need to do is to install the Aider chat library. So I'm going to copy that, paste it right here. Well, since I had already installed this before, it says requirement already satisfied for most of the required packages. The next step here is to export the OpenAI API key. Now, they recommend using GPT-4 for better performance, but unfortunately, I still don't have access to GPT-4, so it's going to switch back to GPT-3.5. For that, I'm going to go to my OpenAI account and create a new secret key. I'm going to call it Aider create secret key. And now all I do is to export that key. I'm going to copy this right here, clear this up, copy this right there, paste it, and press enter. All right, now that I have my Aider chat and OpenAI API key set up, I can just use Aider and then specify a file name or multiple file names that I wanna work on. So I'm gonna type Aider and the application I'm gonna try building today is something which will calculate me the net income from my gross income based on a tiered tax rate. So let me call this net income calculator.py and press enter. All right, it says API does not support GPT-4 and it's falling back to GPT-3.5 Turbo 16K. It's generating an empty file called netincomecalculator.py. I did not specify any specific GitHub repo. That's a different functionality. I'm gonna show that in a future video maybe. And now I have this section right here where I can provide a prompt. This is where I tell Aider what I need. So to start off, I'm gonna say calculate my net income from my gross yearly salary and press enter. And I'm gonna open the Explorer to see what's being generated. So before you saw this folder was empty. Now I have three files here. First one is the Aider chat history. Next one is the Aider input history. This is where it keeps a track of all the prompts that I use to build this app. And the last one is the actual final application, which is the net income calculator. It says to calculate the net income from the gross yearly salary, you need to consider factors such as taxes, deductions, and other applicable expenses. I don't know why this was mentioned here twice, because I think that might be a small bug that has nothing to do with Aider itself. It says, could you provide more information about tax rates, deductions, and expenses that should be taken into account? So I'm going to use this website where I find the German tax system and taxes in Germany. So they have this tiered system for the German income tax rates for 2023, where something which is less than 10,908 euros pays 0%. 
the next range pays 14 to 42 percent and the next range is 42 percent on anything higher than 62,809 and then anything more than 277,826 pays 45 percent on that amount so i'm just going to copy this tiered structure of taxes right there and paste it to my prompt Based on the provided tax rates, here's an updated version of Net Income Calculator. It created this Python code that kind of takes all the things that I mentioned and the tax rates from 2023 and created the Python code out of it instantly. And this is really cool. I think even though this sounds and looks simple, because if you have been playing around with other AI tools, this looks pretty simplistic. But think of it for a second. Firstly, you need to know Python syntax. You need to make sure your code is written in proper formatting and it also provides the right data inside the code. It also provides a test case for your code where it has the gross salary set as 50,000 euros and calculates the final income that comes out of that. Now, how about I want to change the function name here to German net income. I'm just going to specify that as a prompt. Change the function name to German net income. All right, it just changed the function to German net income, just like I requested. And it also shows the line that it deleted and the line that it added. And this is really visual and really nice. All right, now that I have my information on what my final net income will be if I was in Germany, why not try a different country? And this time I'm gonna use Norway as a country and the information about their tax rates as a paragraph instead of a table. And mind you, they don't use euros, they use Norwegian kroners. So what I'm going to do is request Ader to create me a new function to get the net income for a Norwegian salary, but I want the result in euros. So I'm going to copy this up right there and say create a new function for Norway as a country and the final result should be in euros. All right, I have my new Norwegian net income calculator where it takes a gross salary and then finds the correct rate based on what the person is going to make and then also convert the net income into euros. And Ader just completes this seamlessly. I'm going to try this out to make sure this function works on generating the net income for Germany and Norway and also getting the final amounts in euros instantly in like less than a few minutes. What I see here is that the gross salary is run on the German net income and the Norwegian net income. There's a small assumption that is being made here because it does not specify whether 50,000 is provided in euros because if we input 50,000 as gross salary for German net income, it's going to give me the final result in euros. But the Norwegian amount is taking the amount and calculating the taxes on Norwegian kroners. So 50,000 is actually a low salary compared to euros in Norwegian kroners. So if we put 50,000 here, the final result will be much less because I didn't specify whether this is euro or Norwegian kroners. I also realized that I made a small mistake here. I actually pressed the enter before specifying the actual rates from this paragraph right here. So what happened here is since I mentioned the country as Norway without specifying the tax rate and just pressing enter, it found the latest rate which it could find based on the 2021 data that GPT has access to and made the calculation itself. But when I later pressed enter from this rate which is 198 8,350, it actually updated that code to the latest tax rate and deleted the old lines. And I hope you understood what just happened here. This is live testing, so I'm actually not cutting out any of the issues or the mistakes that I made. So I made a mistake here by pressing the enter too early and providing a rate which is incorrect. But when I provided the correct rate later, it just instantly updated the code. And that is really great. So I'm going to type Python 3 net income calculator dot pi. All right, I have my final net income for a German salary 
and a Norwegian net income in euros. Now, this number looks a lot less because 50,000 here is just a number provided for the example. It's not exactly in Norwegian kroners, it's just a number. So we're assuming here 50,000 is your salary in kroners. So your final salary here would be 4,761 euros. Now, this final result was actually what was shown from this example already hard-coded inside the code. Now, what I want this application to be is to take an actual input of a gross salary from the user and calculate the final net income so this can be a useful application which I can personally use. So for that I'm going to initiate Ader again using this file name net income calculator. Now mind you I'm running this Python project without any virtual environments. Now if you were to create a real world application I highly recommend running this whole application inside a virtual environment which you can initiate using Conda or something else but for the purposes of this video I didn't even need to create a virtual environment. So, so I'm going to initiate Ader again. I forgot to provide the API key because that's required for this. I'm going to run this again and run Ader again. Now I had just created Net Income Calculator, which is a Python project, and I had closed Ader and everything was done. Now I want to add some more data or information to this file. So now technically, this is editing an existing project. That is a new functionality which Ader has, but GPT Engineer does not have. And, and now I'm going to provide a new prompt. So I'm going to say remove the example, that is the one which was showing up and printing right here, and take the gross salary input from the user as a parameter. All right, my example just disappeared, and it's taking the gross salary as an input from the user. Now let me try running the same thing without any input to see if it breaks. Perfect. It actually wants me to provide a gross salary, which I want to provide and get a net salary for. So I'm going to say 100,000. And it says, could not find a string to float. It's because I provided a comma. That's incorrect. So I'm going to press this enter again. And say 100,000. All right. I have my German net income for 58,000. And my Norwegian net income, which is 9523. That, that is in euros because the tax rate is calculated in Norwegian kroners. I'm going to test this one more time and provide a random large number to see if it has any limits. But if you're actually earning that much yearly, please contact me and send me an email. Press enter. All right, it has a German net income now in an exponential, which is correct. So the program did not break even with an absurdly large salary. But I think it did a really good job at coming up with this whole application really fast. Now, this is not a full stack application, of course. This is just a backend application which does something with a number. But you can see the potential in this. There's so much you can do. The more you experiment, the more possibilities open up. You can see your entire chat history in this markdown file right here. You can see all the problems that you used. This is the first one that I tried. Then I provided the rates. Then I requested the function name change to German net income. And I requested a new function with Norway as a country and the final result in euros. And remember, this is where I pressed enter, where I did not provide any Norwegian rates and I just requested it to tell me what Norwegian rates would be. So, so it made the assumption that I'm not providing that information and found the best information it could and came up with the result. And this is where I provide the actual tax rate the tier tax rates for Norway and it updated the code and then I requested it to remove the example and take the gross salary input from the user as a parameter but that's all I have for you in this video I hope you got some value from it if you did enjoy it make sure to subscribe to my AI newsletter and this YouTube channel and click like on this video I have a lot more videos coming up till the next one thank you so much